Welcome to Simplified Physics. In this lecture of dimensional analysis, we will discuss some problems related to the dimensional analysis. Let's begin with before starting the problems on the dimensional analysis, we must have some basic concept on the dimensional analysis. For more details, I suggest to view the previous uh, videos on the dimensional analysis you must know about the principle of homogeneity of the dimensions according to principle of homogeneity of the dimensions each term in the physical relation have identical dimensions second point you must know about the physical relation two or more terms in a can be added or subtracted if they have same dimension in such conditions we can add or subtract two or more terms in a physical relation and moreover to determine the dimensions or to solve the problems related to the dimensional analysis you must have some ideas about the units dimensions or physical relation concerning the physical quantities if you know the these three points you can solve the any problems related to dimensional analysis for more detail about the these descriptions these points you may see the previous videos let's begin the problem the very first problem determine the dimension, uh, dimensions of a thermal conductivity let's begin with to determine the dimensions of a thermal conductivity you may know the physical relation relating to the thermal conductivity a relation concerning to the thermal conductivity is q equals to k a theta 1 minus theta 2 into t whole by d where q is the heat energy a is the cross sectional area k is thermal conductivity theta 1 minus theta 2 is the temperature difference in temperature t is time d is thickness now we have the given equation or the relation physical relation concerning with the thermal conductivity we write the, that equation we can write rewrite as k equals to q into d divided by a theta 1 minus theta 2 into t in terms of dimension we can write this relation dimensions of the k equals to q q is the heat energy heat energy has the dimension of energy or work done work done has the dimension m l 2 t minus 2 if there is any confusion with the dimension of the heat energy compare with the energy energy has the dimension m l 2 t minus 2 if you are confused with uh, this dimension go for the work done work done equal is simply defined as force into displacement and force has a dimension ml t minus 2 and displacement has a dimension l so you will get the ml 2 t minus 2 now d is the thickness thickness length breadth whatever it has the dimension l and dimension of the area is l square it's obvious and difference of theta 1 minus theta 2 that's the difference has the dimension k and T is the dimension of the time. To simplify it, you will get relation m1 l1 t minus 3 k minus 1. So, dimensional formula for the thermal conductivity is m1 l1 t minus 3 k minus 1. So, we can say that dimensions of thermal conductivity are 1 in mass, 1 in length and minus 3 in time and minus 1 in temperature in this way we can find the dimensions of a thermal conductivity once again we check in brief and let's go for the second problem find the dimensional formula of coefficient of viscosity so begin with the physical relation involving the coefficient of viscosity a simple relation relating the 
cos center of viscosity force equals to minus eta a dv by dx where dv by dx is called velocity gradient so in terms of dimension we may write dimension of the formula is ml t minus 2 we have to determine the dimension of the dimension of cos center of viscosity eta and a is the area area is the dimension l square dv is the small velocity or change in velocity that is lt minus 1 dx is the distance l so in this way we can write in terms of the dimension then begin with or simplify it you will get the dimension ml minus 1 t minus 1 this is the dimensional formula for the coefficient of viscosity and coefficient of viscosity has the dimension 1 in mass minus 1 in length and minus 1 in time so dimensions of the coefficient of viscosity are 1 in mass minus 1 in length and minus 1 in time and though this in general ml minus 1 t minus 1 is called dimensional formula of coefficient of viscosity now go let's go for the next question do you remember the dimensional formula of the electric charge Q, potential V, capacitance C and resistance R? Now, for the first one, electric charge. The physical relation involving the electric charge simply Q equals to IT, I equals to rate of change of I is electric current, electric current is defined as rate of change of electric charge. So, simply Q equals to IT we can write. Now, dimensional formula for the Q is for electric current I is A for time T so we can write Q equals to dimensional formula for Q is A T but some authors prefer that dimension of the electric current as I if we choose dimension of the electric current as I we get a dimensional formula for the Q is I T so be careful with in multiple choice questions if the option has a you may write he has a dimensional formula for electric current if mcq mcq's ha, mcq has a an option with i choose the dimensional formula for electric current as i as per requirement you may choose both of them are correct then let's go for the second part of the discussion the physical relation for the electric potential or uh, relation involving the electric potential is u equals to qv qv q has the once again i t times b and use the energy so dimensional formula for the energy is m l electric potential energy so it's a simply the use the dimension of the energy ml to t minus 2 and obviously q has to dimension a t or simply i into t from this one you may write and b after v we are finding the dimensional formula so b equals to simply we get the dimensional formula as m l minus 2 t minus 3 a minus 1 now let's go for the next oh, sorry, third part of the discussion the f uh, third part we have to find the dimensional formula for the capacitance in the third part of the same question and the f physical relation involving the capacitance is q equals to cv and let's go for in terms of dimension you, we may write for the q once again at of the capacitance we have to find and to dimensional formula for the V we just we have found ML2 T minus 3 A minus 1 so replace it and just simplify we get dimensional formula for the capacitance as M minus 1 L minus 2 A2 T power 4 isn't it check it once again take your time uh, pause the video if required and proceed now let's go for the last part of the discussion the physical relation involving the electric resistance is b equals to r i 
and we are familiar with the i i has a dimension a after r we have to find the dimension dimensions for this so um, after v we have just found before m l2 t minus 3 a minus 1 so the dimensional formula for the electric current as m l2 t minus 3 a minus 2 in this way we can find the dimensional formula for the various quantities now let's go for the next question if q be the dimensions of the electric charge find the dimensions for the electric current sometimes dimensions may be mentioned in the question if not mentioned we choose seven different base quantities quantities are chosen as the, as the base dimensions so now in this case q itself given as a dimension then what will be the, be the electric current dimensions of the electric current q equals to it basic relation and q has the dimension as q i after electric current we have to find the dimension for the electric current then t as a time then we'll get the dimensional formula for the electric current as m0 l0 t minus 1 q1 so dimensions of the electric current are 0 in mass 0 in length minus 1 in time and 1 in electric charge if electric charge has the dimension q let's go for the next question if force velocity and time are chosen as a base quantities in general mass length and time are the base quantities but in this question it is mentioned as force is a base quantity velocity as a base quantity and time as a base quantity then what will be the dimension of the mass so let's see base quantities are force velocity and time it is mentioned in the question then a physical relation involving the mass is f equals to m a in terms of dimension we may write the one more step uh, f equals to m b by t b by t now in terms of dimension f has the dimension f it is mentioned in the question after m we have to find the dimension velocity b b has the dimension b it is mentioned and time has t then dimensional formula for the mass in terms of f b and t is f1 b minus 1 t1 then we can say that the dimensions of mass are 1 in force minus 1 in velocity and 1 in time in terms of the force velocity and time if we choose the force velocity and time as the base quantities then we dimensions of the mass are 1 in force minus 1 in velocity and 1 in time in this way we can find the dimensional formula if the base quantities are mentioned in the question now let's see one more question similar same as question number five choosing force length and time to be the fundamental quantities best quantities are in this question force length and time not a mass length and time different from the conventional question so find the dimension of the density in terms of the f l t let's see FLT are the base quantities then the physical relation involving the density the very basic formula rho equals to m by v and mass is not a base quantity so converting to force mass is defined as force by acceleration and whole divided by f and further simplify f by a v then in terms of the dimension dimensional formula for the rho is for the f dimensional formula f it is mentioned in the equation and a is the acceleration expressed in terms of l and t because l and t also the base quantities so we can write as l t minus 2 and volume volume as the base quantity l it is 
L mentioned in the equation, so we can write L cube as for the volume. Just simplify it, we will get F1 L minus 4 T minus 2. So this is the dimension, dimensional formula for the density. So and the dimensions of the force in terms of force, length, not the dimension of the force, dimension of the density in terms of force, length and time is 1 in force minus 4 in length and 2 in time. Let's see one more question. Young's modulus of a steel is 19 into 10 power 10 newton per meter square or simply 1.9 into 10 power 11 newton per meter square. Now express it in dyne centimeter. Here dyne is a CGS unit of force. That means simply newton per meter square is the SI unit of Young's modulus and dyne per centimeter square is the CGS unit of the Young's modulus. We have to convert from SI to CGS system. Let's begin with it's a the unit of Young's modulus newton per meter square it is obvious and it includes the dimension of the force newton and distance meter square so force has the dimension you are familiar with m l t minus 2 that is the newton uh, as well and distance or meter square has the dimension l square so dimensional formula for the Young's modulus y is m l t minus 2 by l square simplify it we get as m 1 l minus 1 t minus 2 and it assume as m a l b t power c so dimensions are 1 minus 1 and minus 2 so a equals to 1 b equals to minus 1 and c equals to minus 2 now we have to convert from the si system to cgs it is given that n1 equals to 19 into 10 power 10 and n2 we have to find in si the unit quantity for the mass is 1 kg in cgs unit quantity for the mass is 1 gram similarly unit length is 1 unit length is 1 meter unit quantity for length is here is also mentioned 1 meter in fact it is 1 centimeter 1 centimeter 1 meter and 1 centimeter here l2 is 1 centimeter similarly time 1 second 1 second then just to apply the relation n2 equals to n1 m1 by m2 whole power a l1 by l2 whole power b t1 by t2 whole power c how does this relation comes if there is any confusion with this relation i suggest to see the previous videos and we'll get n1 value of n1 replaced values 19 into 10 power 10 in si unit quantity is 1 kg in cgs 1 gram l2 is 1 meter l1 is 1 meter l2 is 1 centimeter and t1 is 1 second 1 second and about the power a equals to 1 b equals to minus 1 and c equals to minus 2 on the base of dimension of the newton per meter square now convert the 1 kg into gram so we can cancel gram gram or simply 1 gram into kg we can cancel kg kg so for more simplification i have converted kg into gram 1 kg equals to 1000 gram 1 meter equals to 100 centimeter and once again once again cancel or simply 1 power of 1 whatever the power of 1 is always 1 and centimeter centimeter cancel it gives to by 100 1 by 100 because negative power is here 1 by 100 and in this case gram gram cancel 100 so two zeros two zeros cancel so simply you will get n2 equals to 19 into 10 power 11 10 19 as it number 10 power 10 here 2 0 2 0 cancel because it has negative power and 0 one more zero that means 10 power 11 n2 equals to 10 power 11 thus 19 into 10 power 10 newton meter square equals to 19 into 10 power 
eleven nine per centimeter square. In this way, we can convert one system to another system. In the previous example, during the discussion of the discussion of the application of the dimensional analysis, we have discussed an example conversion from CGS to SI. I'll suggest to see that video as well for the to know more details uh, details about the conversion of the from one system to another system and this is the end of the lecture this lecture thanks for watching